everyone. Happy Friday. Here's a look outside downtown San Angelo. Those skies are clear now behind that cold front that passed through earlier today. Temperatures across the region also a lot cooler now behind that front. The big difference, though, is how windy it is outside. We'll talk more about that in a second, but at the moment, 69 degrees here in San Angelo, 68 up in Abilene. That warm spot right now going to be Mason at 76 degrees. And getting a little cooler, a little farther west Midland as that cool spot at only 62 degrees. Now I just talked about how windy it was. It's so windy in fact that a wind advisory is in place for much of the area until 8 p.m. tonight and we're going to take a look at those wind speeds. Between now and 8 p.m. winds are going to be gusting up to 30 miles per hour but even after that advisory expires overnight we're going to see wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour so those winds are going to stay very breezy overnight like we've talked about before if you have any unsecured objects in your yard might want to check on them or make sure they're secured overnight as those winds continue to be a little gusty now overnight even though we have those clear skies and we have those winds those winds are a lot cooler behind this cold front ushering in cooler air helping those temperatures get down to the lower 40s upper 30s in some of those low-lying locations like here in San Angelo we're expected to get down to 39 degrees tonight into tomorrow morning Abilene going to be a little bit warmer at 41 degrees. Mason, as well as Comanche, going to be those relatively warmer spots, getting down to 44 degrees tonight. The big thing to note this weekend, tomorrow going to be similar to today, a lot cooler behind that cold front. Highs really only peaking in the lower to mid 70s, 74 going to be that high here. On Sunday, high pressure is going to return, helping those temperatures get back to above average in the lower 80s under those sunny skies. Now, here's a quick reminder this weekend to set those clocks back one hour. Daylight saving time does end Saturday into Sunday. It'll officially go into effect at 2 a.m. on Sunday. What does this mean for us? Less sunshine. That means we're now going to get back to those 5 p.m. sunsets, but you will get an extra hour of sleep Saturday night or into Sunday morning. Or if you're somebody that likes to go out, you'll have an extra hour of party time this weekend. But to wrap that up with your seven-day sunny conditions, conditions throughout the weekend. Cloud cover starting to pick up throughout next week, but we'll maintain some isolated rain chances throughout the work week. Our next cool down looking to come sooner than later though. Temperatures by this time next week down to the mid 50s to lower 60s across West Texas. Back to you Esmeralda.